All right, star 1800, 2024 algebra one with logs by Professor Arturo Galvez Jr. 150 questions, video 28. All right, big college algebra final review, 040424. Ready? You already start? Yes? Okay, need money for college? Tuition, fees, books, software. Mom Marge is open 24 hours, great boss, great work, great food. But let's say you don't need money. Do you need money? No? Okay, don't forget about it. You don't need this money. So let's do this. Solve this. So first thing I do is I'm gonna go ahead and subtract log of x minus four from both sides. These are gone. So now I have log two x plus three minus this equals this. Now this is log with a minus. So that's gonna be log of top and the bottom. Okay, log of a over b right here. A over B is log of A, log of minus log of B. So now this is log, so it means base 10. So 10 to the power of one is this answer. So 10 to the one power is two is supposed to be over that. So 10 to the one is 10, okay, right? This is 10 equals two X plus three over X minus four again. Okay, and sharks say, join me for lunch. Okay, wax on, wax out for me. Let's go to part, part one, let's go to part two now. Ah, so we know that 10 over one is this, cross multiply these two things. So we have 10 times x minus four, one times that. So we have this equals two x plus three. 10 x minus 40 equals two x plus three. My, plus 40 plus 40, now we have 10 x equals two x plus this, minus two x minus two x, and then we have eight x equals 43. Divide by eight, divide by eight, so x equals what? 43 over eight, okay? So example of this would be in 5.375 minutes, the shark will be next to you in the Texas Sea. How's that? Now, there's our answer. So, should we check it? Yeah, let's check it. Let's check it. Does it work? So, this and this are the same. 43 over 8, the same as this answer. So, now, if you put this number in there, 43 over 8, 43 over 8, the same denominator, you're going to get 43 over 12, plus 4. Positive number, no problem. Over here, Positive number right here, no problem. So this works, this works, all this works out. So I'm gonna say yes, that's a good answer. You can either put it in the original problem, it works. All right, now this one. So now, again, you have addition, so there's multiplication. So now we have this, three to the power of two equals this. So three times three is nine. X squared plus 11X plus three X plus 33. That's gonna be X squared plus 14X plus 33 minus nine minus nine. So we have X squared plus 14X plus 24. Now, 24, we're going to have to factor this one out on the next step, okay? And these are possible numbers, and I'm going to take the 12 and 2. I say 2 times 12 is 24, and 2 and 12 is 14. Yes, that works. So x plus 2 equals 0, negative 2, minus 2, minus 2, or x plus 12, minus 12, minus 12, so x equals negative 12. We've got two answers. Check them. Try the negative 2 in there. The original problem, so log base 3 of... Negative two plus three is one, positive one, good. Negative uh, positive, yes, that one's good. So negative two works. Negative 12 in there, log base three of negative 12 plus three is negative nine, ah! Log base three of negative nine, no, that's not gonna work. And this is gonna be log base three of negative one, nope, that's not gonna work, no, no. So the answer that only works is negative two, okay? That's all that works. So, two minutes ago, the shark found you out there swimming in the Texas Sea, found you noticed you okay this one hmm all right i'm gonna put the two up here see this power two put it up there bring it to the top like, like this so now we have this minus guess what that's gonna be a divide there it is so we have this one log base 11 of this equal log base 11 ah oh, so that means this must equal this so now you multiply both sides by what 64 64 that's 256 equals this Take the square root of this side, square root of this side. This is going to be x minus 4 equals plus or minus 16. Hmm. Let's go to the next part. Let's go to part 2. Part 2 says x minus 4 equals 16. x minus 4 equals negative 16. So this is going to be plus 4 plus 4 equals 20. And over here is going to give you plus 4 plus 4 is going to give you negative 12. Hmm. Check. 20. Put it in there. 20 minus 4 is 16. That's okay. And that one's fine. That one's fine. This is good. This is all good. 20 is good. Try the negative 12 in there. 2 times log base 11. The original problem, negative, oh no, negative 12, negative 4, negative 16. Log base 11, I have negative, nope, that's not going to work. 
Bad part. So is that once that bad? Nope. Don't use it. So the only answer that works is what? Twenty. That's the only one that worked. Okay. Ex example. You have twenty seconds to get in your boat before the shark gets next to you in the Texas Sea. How about that? This one. Hmm. I'm gonna put the number up here. So these two are here. Bring it to the top. Right there's a power. Log base seven of this equals log base seven of that. So we have. 8x plus 22 equals this one, and multiply it out. It's gonna be x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16, x squared plus 8x plus 16. Bring everything to the left side, this right here, this way. So 0 equals x squared plus 8x plus 16 minus 8x minus 22, which is gonna be x squared minus 6. So that equal to 0. And now I'm gonna bring, at, bring the 6 over here and then take the square of both sides. And the square root of x squared and the square root of this, x is gonna be plus or minus square root of 6. Right? Two answers. Yep, we got two answers. Square root of six, negative square root of six. Do they work? Let's find out. Let's put them in there. So, eight times square root of six plus 22, that's a positive number. And over here, square root of six plus four, that's a positive number too. So that square root of positive square root of six, that works. What the negative one though? Negative square root of six. Hmm. Put it in there, put it in there. So 8 times 8 square root of 6, uh, decimal number of this with a 22, all that together gives you a 2.4 positive number. Put it over here on the other side, you get a positive number. So the log of a positive, log of a positive, yep, that's going to work also. So actually, this one has two answers, square root of 6 and negative square root of 6. There's two answers that work for this problem. So two sharks will join you for lunch. The square root of 6 shark. And a negative square root of six shark will meet you for lunch. This one, f of x equals two to the x minus sixty four. Graph it, and I would say my domain range is pretty large like this, so it'll fit the graph. Uh, again, put it two to the power of x minus sixty four. This way, it's going to be a graph that looks like this. Okay, you're going to get some points, and it's going to start here, and it's going to eventually go up, 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 and it's going to stop right there in that zone. Or it keeps going, but that's what I that's what I'm looking at right now. Okay, so like example, you bought a truck, you are negative sixty three thousand dollars. That's what you owe for your Texas truck. One year goes by, two years go by, three years go by, four years go by. Eventually, six years later, you owe zero. So right now, you just got it. You're minus sixty three thousand dollars that you owe on your truck. One year goes by, this is four years go by, you owe 48, five years go by, you owe 32. Finally, six years later, you pay it off, you own the truck, it's yours. Okay, think of it like that. Think of it something like that. Thousands of dollars. Uh, solve this. So we'll divide both sides by 280, 280. And this is gonna be 1.075, it's easy. So now we take LN, LN on both sides. And this, this comes to the front with parentheses, of course. X minus 1999, ln of this equals that. Now divide by ln of 1.010, 0, 1.010. These are gone. So we have this left over equals this. Now, calculate. We need to use a calculator. Okay, we're going to add 1999 to both sides. Ends up being this right here. But this, you need a calculator. You need to put this in a calculator. So ln of this divided by this plus 1999. Gives you this answer or round it off to 2006. So in 2006, what happened? In the year 2006, your house is now worth 301000 Okay, so originally, what is it worth? Let me see. What was it before? It was... Originally, you bought your house, it was worth 280, and now it's up to 301000 Great. Super great. All right. When is it going to be worth 355,000? So you set up a problem. So what I'm going to do is divide, divide. I got this number here. Leave it alone because it's going to be some long decimal number. LN, LN, both sides. This number goes to the front. Divide by LN of 1.010, 1.010. LN, X minus this equals this. Calculator at one point or at negative 1999 to both sides. Now we have this. LN of this, divide by LN of that, plus this number. Calculator, calculator, calculator. You're going to get all this number. Just run it up to the year. The year is 2022. So in 2022, close enough. Your house is what? 
now worth three hundred fifty-five thousand dollars. How's that? Compound interest. You put in five hundred dollars and two percent and two years and then compound it quarterly four times. What happens? Put all these numbers in here. Four times two is eight. So if you put this number, parentheses, all this one plus point zero two to that to the power eight, all this becomes five hundred twenty point thirty five thirty five twenty two. Round it, 520.35. So let's see, grandma puts money away for you. Two years ago, whatever, your grandma gives you money for college. Yes, you see, thank you, grandma. All right, this one, how long does it take to double the money if you invested it quarterly, huh? All right, $1,000, you want it to become 2,000. And 6% compounded quarterly, four times. So divide by 1,000, 1,000 is two. So now L and L on both sides, it's gonna be four X goes to the front, L and this. So now I'm divide both sides by, look what I did right here. I did parentheses four L and of all this, close it, close it. Parentheses four L and of all this, close it, close it. Two times, okay, two times. These are gone. All this left is X over here. These are all canceled except the X is left. And this on the calculator, Ln of two parentheses, parentheses four ln of one plus point zero six divided four divided, close it close it. It's gonna give you this number here, which is rounded off to eleven point sixty four. So in eleven point sixty four years, it compounded quarterly. You got two thousand dollars. You doubled your money. Okay, at six percent of course. Now six percent compounded continuously. How long does it take to double? Well, double up. There it is. Divide by thousand dollars two. L of this brings it to the front. L of E is one, and one times that is 0 0.06. Divide by 0 0.06, 0 0.06, and now we have L of two divided by 0 0.06. Calculator, we're gonna get this number here. So now it's gonna be what? 11.55 years for the compound continuously. You're gonna take 11.55 to double your money. If you compound it quarterly, what was it? 11.64. It's a little bit faster. 11.55, you got your double your money. Okay. All right, this one. When is one thousand or ten thousand going to become thirty-five thousand? All right. So what happens? Put it in there. So divide, divide. So we have three point five. So now we take L on both sides. This number goes in front. Point fifteen L and V. L and V is one. So point fifteen X and one. So divide by point fifteen. Point fifteen. So this number, L and three point five divided by point fifteen, is this. Or 8.35. So in 8.35 years, what's going to happen? You're going to have not 10,000, but you're going to have what? 35,000. So now you have money to go to college, right? Follow the college, UTSA, somewhere. Somewhere. This one. Uh, find F of zero. All it means is put a zero in there. So zero times that is zero. This zero, E to zero, uh, that's going to be one. One times 200 is 200. That's it. So zero weeks. Go by, there are 200 kitchen roach population at your house, in your kitchen. Okay, that's zero right now, zero. What happens a little bit later? 10 weeks go by. So now put it in there, 10 times this, e to the 0.7, it's gonna be this number times that. So now F of 10 is 403 or 10 weeks later, now you have not 200, but you have 403 kitchen roach population in your kitchen all over the place ovens under these the refrigerators whatever toasters they're there you just can't see them all right now this one when it's 200 equal 260 okay so start with 200 you're gonna get 260 how long is that gonna be uh divide divide by 200 you get 1.3 ln ln the power goes in front ln v is 1 0 0.07 times that is this Divide by 0 0.07, 0 0.07, these are gone. So you have ln of this number divided by 0 0.07. So x equals this, or x equals 3.7. So in 3.7 weeks, you had 200. Now you have what? 260 kitchen roach population. All right, well, you're going to have 400 in there. Well, let's work it out. 400 divided by that is going to be 2 ln ln. Put the number in front, ln of v, 1 again. When times that is 0.07x equals ln2. Now I divide by 0 0.07, 0 0.07. These are gone. So we have x equals 9.90, all this number here. So 9.9. .9. So in 9.9 .9 weeks, you're going to have not 200, but you have 
400 kitchen roach population. Oh, that's it? What? Well, anyway, let's go quickly to this thing here. Busting Island, Empire Dragon, Galveston, Corpus, whatever. Go have fun on your surfboard. Got lots of money. Hawaii, you know where to go. Hawaii, of course. Use your Hawaiian stuff on. Monsters? Nah, they don't scare us. You know, college are right. College, they're still scary. Still scary. Numbers? A little bit scary. Crunchy one? Pretty scary. Crunchy two and three? Yes, yeah, they're pretty scary. Anyway, this is Professor Alfredo Galvez Jr. saying good luck. Professor Alfredo Galvez Jr. saying good luck. Good luck in your college algebra. Good luck.